What's up, guys? Uh, it's Joel with Knock on Wood Custom. Uh, today, we're going to experiment with Glaze Coat by Famo Wood. I think that's how you say it. We've had this sitting around, uh, so we decided we're going to try it out on some void fills. It's probably a top coat finish, but um, we're going to use it for voids today. Um, it's a one-to-one -one ratio. It says read instructions inside, but I couldn't find any. But I looked it up online. It's a one-to-one. -one. So we're going to start with... A. I don't know if you can see that. Um, we're going to do equal parts. I'll show you the piece. We're going to fill this cedar mantle. It's got some massive voids in it, but you can't really tell on top. Uh, but you can kind of see right here. This kind of goes through all. We're going to try to fill that up. Um, I already got it taped up. Uh, I'll show you that in a second. Um, so I'm thinking we should do probably close to 24 ounces. So uh, that's 12 ounces of each. Starting with the part A. Hope everyone's having a good day out there. It's freezing cold. Not in the shop, but outside it is. Super cold. I like the cold. More than the heat. Justin's more of a summer guy. I'm more of a winter guy. So that was part A, 12 ounces. Now I'm doing part B. This is the hardener. I didn't see a mixing time or a setting time on the box. Um, we've been doing epoxy for a while, so I'll probably be able to see when it's mixed well. You can kind of tell. Um, it'll have streaks of resin in there if you don't have it mixed up all the way. I don't know if you can see that, but it has streaks in it. Um, so we usually mix till we don't see anything but a solid color. I'm going to mix this up a little bit. We did find that one-to-one -one ratio epoxy resins seem to uh, do better in the cold environment. Um, scientifically, I don't know why, um, but through trial and error, it seems like a one-to-one -one ratio sets up better in the winter or colder environment. I would still recommend that wherever you finish your pieces with epoxy or do void, void fills or anything like that, that uh, it's climate controlled for sure though.
So I'm still, still have streaks in here. Uh, it's hard for me to show, but not quite there yet. I'm going to check out the comments and see if we have any questions. Nothing quite yet. Uh, if you guys do have any questions, be, be sure to ask. Um, today we're going to try out Bama Wood Glaze Coat for void fills. Probably not cost effective, but this is something we just had laying around. We usually use East Coast Resin or Systems 3. But we've got a lot of questions about different resins, so we figured why not just try them out live for you guys and uh, do all the dirty work for you. Um, this is resin that you can purchase at Lowe's. Um, the Systems 3 that we've shown and East Coast Resin, um, we purchased that online. So uh, for those of you that just want to go to Lowe's and try Epoxy, I believe this brand, um, I don't want to put my foot in my mouth, but I believe that's the only Epoxy you can get at Lowe's. I don't know. I haven't seen any others. There may be some. So we're starting to look pretty clear now. I don't know how long that I've been mixing, probably about three to four minutes. I feel like four to six minutes is usually uh, what you're gonna spend stirring for a one-to-one. -one. I know Systems 3 uh, usually takes us anywhere from one to two minutes uh, to where we feel comfortable with the mixture. Be sure you scrape your sides, your bottom. Get all that. We're looking pretty good. Got my camera guy here, Justin. What's up, man? What's up? Uh, I got these set up so we can transition the camera view. And uh, we're going to get to fill in. I have a feeling that this is going to spread out for a while. Um, you can kind of see, Justin will show you the end of the timber. Um, but this hole seems to go on for a while. If you're just coming online, uh, we're doing a Famo Wood Glaze Coat trial. We've never used it. Um, we've had a lot of questions about all kinds of different brands of epoxy, and we figured we would just do the dirty work for you. Man, that is so pretty. What type of wood is this? Uh, this is a cedar from Oklahoma. It's been vacuum kiln dried. It'll be a mantle, four inches thick.
right now I'm just making sure that any crack I see in the wood I'm getting epoxy in it any knot crack checking split I'm going to be sure to get all those that way you prevent checking in the future so this destabilizes your wood slab so there's no quality issues later exactly this will give you a solid stable wood probably longer than you'll live <laughs> <laughs> this one seems to be pretty cool I'm getting some air bubbles still coming so This one definitely drank it. Yeah, that one's gonna be a deep one. Yeah, it's deep. Are we coming out the end yet? No, uh-uh. Huh. Well, the other side, I feel like we're gonna have to, um, this one's gonna be sort of a different so what, what epoxy was this? This is the stuff that is purchased at Lowe's, right? Yeah, glaze was it coat. Fam Famo wood. Famo wood. I don't know if that's the correct pronunciation. This is the stuff that we bought a while ago, right? Yeah. Long enough ago that there's no instruction booklet. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're, uh, so this is an average uh, consumer bought at Lowe's epoxy. If you or want to try epoxy and you don't want to fiddle with purchasing online, I believe this is the one you can get at your local Lowe's. Oh, okay. Um, I don't know if Lowe's carries other epoxies. I think this is I think the that might be I've it. seen. Yeah. yeah. This hole is deep. Are we coming out the end yet? No. I'm very interested as to uh, maybe it's the underside one that has Dude, the that, connection. That side... I think we're going to have to fill from both sides. Yeah, so probably. Be something new. That'll be good, though. Yeah. This has a lot of interesting, uh, interesting character to it, so it's going to look really neat when it's all finished. That color's going to... Try not to move this camera a whole lot for everybody. i got shaky hands. Uh, just adding some epoxy to these holes in this cedar slab, it's going to be a live-edge front mantle with three square sides so I started with 24 ounces and I'm already down to six and I don't even see epoxy down here and pan back down you what <laughs> what happened no, I said and pan back down <laughs> yeah that hole's probably incredibly deep yeah luckily this is a very thick piece of wood so Yeah, this I little, just like the coloration in this. Isn't All the, it? Look at this. The brown tones. Yeah, for sure. I, I wish our um, camera did it justice. Obviously, our eyes are um, much more intuitive when it comes to color taking in, but the coloration on the cedar slab is really pretty. So you've got some air bubbles down here. Yeah, we're going to hit those in a second. Uh -huh. I'm just going to finish off the last of that epoxy. epoxy. Yeah. Okay, it's so just, it's just taking this hole is just taking it. <laughs> so, with the air bubbles, what are we gonna do with that? Uh, we're gonna use the Wagner. It's Wagner. Uh, just a heat gun with a variable speed. Um, we're basically hot air rises, and we're gonna make the air in the epoxy rise to the top and pop. Forcibly. Oh, yeah. So, here's something. Ooh. <laughs> I'm 
nice. they didn't account for. So here's a problem that you're definitely going to turn into. We're going to show you guys. Uh, so on this back side, on the underside where one of the here, little... Uh, you don't have to lift. I don't know if it'll... Oh, there you go. You can see that due to some of the barked areas, etc., the natural curve of the tree where a limb is, there's actually a hole there that we didn't plug up. So uh, we're gonna be make sure you check all your areas. Yeah. Just leave it be. We'll pop bubbles and let it set. Yeah, it'll be all right. I'm going to de-glove. Oh, wow. Here, looks really good. You can tape and tape and tape and tape. You're going to have a if you do a lot of void fills, you're going to have a, a moment where you miss one. You're going to have leaks either way at some point. That's just one of those things. <laughs> they, uh, epoxy does come up really easily with just a, a normal scraper. You just always hate to waste. Yep. If you're just tuning in, we're testing out this right here, this product. Glaze Coat by Fama Wood. Uh, it's a one to one epoxy ratio. Um, this one's actually a high gloss finish, crystal clear. Um, this would be normally used for your bar top finish or um, your last, what I would say, your last epoxy coat, um, but we're trying it out for uh, void fills. You can get this at your local Lowe's. Um, we're not recommending it. Uh, we're trying it out for you guys, so we don't know how well it works or... Um, how fast it sets up or anything. This is uh, our first time to use it, so. It's really, like, I'm impressed with the fact that it's very bubble-less. Like, it's not really When airy. I was mixing it, uh, I noticed that the bubbles were at a, a very minimum. Really? What, so even What mixing? I'm used to, yeah. Yeah, it and seems it mixed, super clear. It mixed, it mixed up in about four minutes, so probably your typical one-to-one -one ratio mix your time four yeah. to six minutes um, yeah that is true one to one seems that you have to mix that a lot longer yeah mm -hmm. these bubbles are still coming up for sure it's a very has a lot of tunneling through the wood so we'll probably be chasing bubbles you want to probably give yourself at least 30 minutes just to babysit your epoxy pour. Um, to get your perfect pour, you wanna have minimal bubbles, so. It's kinda just a waiting game. Oh, can we show that? Let's see. Yeah. You can see. They're definitely coming up now. I'm just trying to make sure we don't scorch it. Right there. If it'll focus. Uh, it's like bub, like boiling. Well, and especially in soft areas, anytime you get into soft areas of the wood, it's real porous, so it's uh, a lot more air content than you would see in a, a, a really dense hardwood or something like that. So uh, anytime you're doing void fills, it would make sense that you definitely want to watch it even longer. Uh, there it goes. The, the, best time to babysit it I guess really thanks David
Uh, let me show you the. Mm -hmm. So it's it's four inches thick. Uh, this is going to be a mantle, but I'll show you the live edge. This is seven foot long. And we're void filling right now. Uh, this is cedar. I want to say, is it red cedar? I believe there's differences in classifications, and I don't know that this qualifies. I'm not 100% sure. Yeah, I don't want to get all scientific, but it is definitely cedar. So. We're just testing out some glaze coat by Famo Wood. Uh, we're going to let this dry. And after it's dried, we will come back and do another coat. We will... Basically, we're going to go till we don't have any more chasms or voids like this. I can stick my finger. I mean, it's so deep in here. Uh, we're going to be pouring quite a few pours to get that solid out or uh, solidified. So um, that's step one. After that, uh, we'll sand all the excess off the top, flatten it again, um, and then we'll finish it. I believe this is water locks. Yeah. Um, so we're not going to finish it with epoxy. Uh, we're just void filling. But um, to answer your question, Clayton, yes, we are going to let it dry. Um, and then once this side is good and solid on top, we'll flip it over and, and be sure that there's no voids on the bottom, um, which there will be. Um, it pretty much looks the same on the bottom with these giant holes that run through the board. Um, but that's about it. Tomorrow, we're going to go live for our meat cleaver shaped cutting board is that correct yeah absolutely what time do you want to do that um tomorrow we are going to do that at noon central time noonish central time -ish? noonish no noon centralish I think, I think it's noon just noonish yeah just noon so noon tomorrow that's january the 5th yep noon tomorrow january 5th we are going to do a live drawing for you skeptics out there we're actually going to pull a name from a hat or bag, case, bucket, bowl, bowl some kind of holding of names <laughs> device. <laughs> Anyways, we'll be giving away one of our cutting boards. Uh, it's just to say thank you for everybody that's uh, followed along in our journey and helped us get where we are. So uh, make sure that uh, you like and share that video. That's something that we'll share again on our page. Yeah, we're going to repost that today. Please. Yeah, I'll repost that today. So, that way you guys can see what you're um, in for so you can potentially win a fantastic walnut cutting board. And crafted by us personally. <laughs> indeed, <laughs> indeed. Um, I think that's it. Um, we're going to let this set up, continually popping bubbles. And uh, tomorrow we can give you an update on how it turned out. Yeah. And do another uh, secondary void fill uh, with the same famo wood blaze coat. You can get that at your Lowe's, local Lowe's. We appreciate you. We guys. appreciate you guys. Take it easy. <laughs>